tell you to today I'm going to rant about bad drivers and the first thing I'm going to rant about is them going above the speed limit like is the place you're going to really that important that you have to break the law going above the speed limit it's like ridiculous like what happened if there's a few people that want to go to speed limit and follow the law like you can put them in danger by going above the speed limit yourself you're putting other people in danger by going above the speed limit and when you're on the highway, people also go like 20 above the speed limit. Like, let's say the speed limit is 65, people go 85. And that's also ridiculous too because you're putting the people who like to go to speed limit on the highway in danger as well. And the people who go, which is the sad thing is, the people that go to speed limit on the highway and off the highway roads too. Like, you, like it's sad that people that go to speed limit can also create accidents too because most people go above the speed limit. Like, that's really sad. Like, the place you're going to is not important at all. Like, if you're going to a friend's house, not important, go to speed limit. If you're going to work, yeah, that's semi-important, but still you have to, one, okay, here's how, here's how you cannot break the law. One, you can, you can wake up earlier to get to work on time. So wake up earlier, eat breakfast earlier, leave the house earlier, you'll get to work on time. You don't have to speed to get to work. Same thing for a friend's house, same thing for family, same thing for holidays. You don't have to speed, just wake up earlier, problem solved. And talk people that talk and text on their phone while driving, that's also ridiculous. Like, pull over, if it's important, pull over. If you're just texting your friend say, oh, I'm on my way, text them on my way when you leave the house. Don't text them on my way while driving. Like, you'll be there eventually. They, they don't need to know that you're on your way. If you say, the day before, if you tell your friend, I'm going to leave the house at this time, don't know. You don't have to text them saying that you're on your way the day of. That's ridiculous. You know, like, talking on the phone and texting while driving, that's not important. Well, it is important because you shouldn't be doing it anyways because it's really dangerous. A lot of people die from that every year. That's why you shouldn't text or drive on your phone. Because if you take the eyes off the road for one second, you'll get into a car accident. With a snap of your fingers. You can get into a car accident that fast. Number three. People who use their blinker the last minute. Like, don't use your blinker at the last minute. Like, properly, like, two or three inches before the turning lane, use your blinker. You don't use your blinker when you're on a turning lane. That's stupid. And let's say there's a left turning lane and a right turning lane. Just because you're on a turning lane does not mean you don't have to use your blinker. You always have to use your blinker. That's the law. That In every state in the United States, that's the law. And... Four, I hate it when people pass me out for going the speed limit. People give me 30 looks for going the speed limit. Like, I go 25 on one road, and on that same road, every day I get passed out for going 25 miles per hour, which is the speed limit, because one, people walk on that road, and two, there's a park on that road, too. And three, there's a lot of turns on that road, too, because there's restaurants and plazas on that road. That's why the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. That's why you gotta go to speed limit because there's popping if somebody makes a sudden turn and you're going above the speed limit and hit them. That's your, it's your fault because you're going above the speed limit. It's not the person going to the speed limit's fault. So don't pass people out. Or else you probably hit somebody on the other side of the road for doing that. Like what if they come by a sudden surprise? Just because you may not see the person coming and say, okay, it's safe to first pass this person out. It's not really safe because what if somebody just comes down the hill by surprise? and hit you. It's not your fault. No, it's your fault. It's not the other person going down the hill's fault for hitting you. Alright, number five, going through a red light. Like, turning, for turning right on red, you have to stop first, then turn right. Like, you can't just turn right, because what happens if somebody's going straight and hits you because you turn right on red without stopping first, looking. And two, I hate it when people run through a red light because, like, what happened if there's a sign there? Like, a sign that says no turn on red, people still turn right on red. And 
one, they don't even stop and look. They still turn right on red, even if they see the sign that says no turn on red. That's ridiculous. If you see a sign, you gotta stop. On, you gotta stop on the red light. And you gotta be patient while on the road. Like if no turn on red, turn right on red. You break the law. If the sign says no turn on red and you turn on red, you break the law. Just because the law says you can turn right on red, you can't turn right on red if there's a sign. That's that. All right. So for all you bad drivers out there, I hope this video helps you become a better driver. Alright, well, all Twitter, Instagram, YouTube link in the description. I hope you guys liked this first rant video. This is on VidMe now. You gotta get used to saying VidMe instead of YouTube. So, Twitter, Instagram links in the description. Please remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to stay positive.